Okay, today I received my Type A version 5 cube. The reason I ordered this cube is because I want to start learning uh, one-handed solve. And this cube is a little bit smaller than um, the, Rubik's, the Rubik's Cube brand. It's about 3 mm difference. And when I took it out of the box it was terrible. It, the turning it was really hard to make a turn so I wanted to take the center caps off but you cannot take them out so what I did is I, un I took some pieces out of the, the edges out and then I could see right there there's a little piece if you push against it the center cap comes off so I um, by the way, it's a real ingenious uh, system. Pieces are hollow and they have an, an indent. So they don't have a lot of friction. It takes a lot of pressure to take it out, so I doubt it will pop on me. And kernel cutting is about 40, 40 degrees. But not, not 45 degrees. Now after uh, tensioning it a little bit, it turns a lot better. But it makes a lot of noise. And I'll do my first solve on it to see if I can get anywhere 40 seconds. Because, because that is uh, a good time for me. Thirty-two seconds. <laughs> That's actually quite a good time. It feels a little bumpy, but it's not broken in. It has no lubrication, so my guess is that it will be faster and smoother when I lubricate it, and then it will be okay for me to start learning the one-hand solve. All in all, it's quite an expensive cube. It's about. $14 in China with uh, deal mass. If you hesitate to buy it, I would say don't buy it. It's not, uh, not a topper. But I'm gonna try it anyway.